Welcome to Jordan with Bannock Tours. My name is Dennis Bannock and I'm standing here right in front of the Treasury. If you've ever dreamt about this place, if you've ever wondered what it's like, you saw Indiana Jones walk down the sea and, and discover the reality of standing here in front of this place is just amazing. Uh, the hairs stand up at the back of my and just sit down in one of the seats here, sit back, relax and just take it all in. It is an incredible sight. So join me as we explore Petra on a Bunnick Tours small group tour. What's it like entering into Petra? Coming through the seat, uh, as I said, uh, I reckon uh, you, you sort of anticipate Indiana Jones music coming along and, and waiting for him to ride through the canyon because uh, I took a photo of uh, half the seat and half the, uh, the, the treasury building in the background and that's exactly how I pictured it, how I remember it in the, in the, in the movie and as I've seen on the, in, in encyclopedias and things like that. It's just absolutely beautiful place, beautiful place. Beside incense, they trade with mera, henna, gold, silver, pitchman, glass, pottery, silk, ceramic, etc. So that's the main thing, which made the Nabataean people as rich people, plus the strategy of the location, as in the heart of the world, their kingdom. So this is what made the Roman conquer them in 106 AD. The whole area around us here, this is the city center of Petra. The city center is a part of the area of 45 square kilometers, so you need more than a week to see everything in Petra. But the city center used to be for stone houses, markets, different public buildings and things like that. The colors in the stone here are incredible. There's 16 different colors, natural colors that they've identified. It's amazing uh, patterns and swirls and shapes and stuff. Now, if you think that Petra is just the treasury, um, have a look at this behind me. This is the monastery and it is the most incredible structure. It's, it's bigger than the treasury. It's at the highest point of Petra, carved out of solid rock. It is an absolutely stunning uh, creation. Have a look at the people. This is uh, well over 50 meters in height and uh, pretty much 60 meters in width. It is incredible. It's not just the scale of the monument, it's the scale of the landscape. You know, the setting is just incredible. Have a look at this. If you're going to Egypt, is it worth continuing on for the week you must, and coming to, you uh, must, to Jordan? You must do an add-on uh, to Jordan, um, yeah. Yeah, because I said the people are wonderful, the country's magnificent, and coming through on the, on the, the, the super highway, on the, on the flat area, dust and, and absolutely nothing there at all. A bit like the Nullarbor Plains of Australia. And then to come into a place like this with all the mountains and the hills, yeah, incredible. No words can describe it, no photos can describe what you see. You've really got to be here and appreciate the magnitude of the whole, the whole place. It's fantastic. Yeah. 